Hello Libra and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So what we're going to do is do a read for you and who, right? And that who could be a friend or family member, it could be a, a boyfriend, girlfriend, it could be a person of interest or one side of a situation and another, okay? If you are new to my channel, welcome and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Michelle. Now this is going to be a general read for the second half of March. We're going to see what's in store for you here. Uh, if you're looking for a personal read that taps into your own personal energies, oh, you got to check out theguideintuitive.com up here or my description box below, all right? All right, uh, we're going to jump into this and see what's going on for you here. Um, and I do want to let you know you want to check out the uh, classes, you want to check out the uh, new membership that's down there, uh, as well as those of you that are looking to make a major change in their life and just want that motivation, that inspiration, that strategy and clarity that does combine that soul, you know, with uh, the uh, spiritual that you do want to check out our discovery session up there. Um, and it's also in my description box if you miss it. Uh, that allows some personal complimentary one-on-one -on -one time, allows us to get to know you, make a recommendation. And then, of course, uh, if it is a good match, invite you into one of our programs. All right. So let's uh, see what's going on for you here. Second half of March. Um, what's going on for you, Libra? Here we go. Here you are. Wow, you know who got this too? Sag got this, okay? So right at the very beginning, okay? So um, some of you might be dealing with the Sag, all right? This is about balancing of the scales. So this is about being that either you're helping someone and you're this person here or someone is helping you and you're down here. Either way, it's about trying to balance the scales, okay? In a relationship or in a situation. That could be monetary. This is pentacles, right? Uh, and this is a six. Sixes talk about the growth, right? Uh, so this is about growth in uh, that happening, growth that the balancing is happening. Uh, and, um, you know, it, it's beautiful. So uh, it could be happening in a relationship. And again, it might be one side of a situation or another. It might not even have to do with love for some of you. So... A lot of people have told me that when they come to my channel, hey, it didn't have to do with love, but it did. Well, it didn't have to do with one side of a situation and another. So, uh, you know, take the messages as, as what resonates with you, okay? And feel free to reverse them. I might start with your side here and then the other here. You might, you know, feel free to reverse the messages as you see fit, okay? So what is this Six of Pentacles here? Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. What is that? Ooh, okay. So this is saying is that you're in the driver's seat right now, Libra. Now you might be uh, getting a new car, but this is saying is that you're kind of balancing out your, your shadow side and your light side and you're in control, but you're also having spirit guide you in the process. Okay. But you are in control. And what this talks about here is that right now is um, in this situation is that there is some balancing that is taking place that maybe wasn't there before and there is you're the necessary driver in this to balance things out so this is really beautiful yeah that's what i see here um very very cool yeah all right so just having the willpower to make the changes as you see fit that's a major arcana card so that's pretty important here for you okay this is a oh a three of cups so this is about uh communication this is about, you know, networking. This is about friendship. This is about community, emotional fulfillment. You maybe might be out celebrating with others within your circle, but it's bringing a lot of emotional fulfillment. So uh, that's what I see coming into play. Um, yeah, and then this is also, I get the uh, seven of wands. And this is about just continuing, continuing to stay on top of things, persevering, right? Um, yeah, it's having faith. Uh, that you're moving through something and uh, this is really talking about uh, persevering uh, amidst, you know, the, the competition that's out there. So it has to do with a relationship or situation. No, Libra, you're on top. Okay, you're the contender right now. All right. Uh, and if it has to do with work, you're on top of things and you're continuing to persevere. Okay. Uh, anything else on your side that we need to know about where you're at? You had to walk away from something that wasn't emotionally fulfilling for you. So you just chose to walk away. You felt it was better to walk away after you put some emotion and time into something. And this is about uh, knowing that you've gone through some sort of growth, right? Some sort of change and some sort of growth, okay? You put a lot of emotions, but you're, you're very passionate. You're going to find what it is that you want. Something was hidden here, uh, but there's been some sort of change, okay? Uh, some sort of change, um, and it, it disappointed you. Oh, it disappointed you emotionally, okay? So it could have been in a relationship or situation. What is this Eight of Cups? What is it? 
Yeah, and now it has you moving forward. I don't know if you're offering a cup of love to someone after you moved away from something that was disappointing and didn't work out. You're thinking of offering a cup of love to someone. This is actually very romantic and charming. And, you know, the nights are all about this, uh, um, you know, motion and moving forward. Very transparent in your feelings, right? And uh, very romantic. This is Knight of Cups. I think this is you taking this on. Uh, this is a, you've got, you've gained some sort of perspective after you walked away and you've shined the light on the situation and you've decided that you want to offer a cup to someone. Okay. Something you want to give your emotions or your efforts to someone or something here. Okay. How interesting. Wow. And this is a new beginning. It might have to do with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this could be you taking on this energy, or this could be a new beginning with someone who is also a fellow air sign. Okay. Just saying, a new beginning. Uh, many of you might just be taking this on. And it's after, this new beginning is after a change that has been taken place. Um, and this could have come from, you know, putting yourself in isolation, you know, being disappointed uh, on a situation. But this was just perspective. Because this is saying, uh, as being the eights, it's changing. You've changed your perspective. Hence why you've started anew and really looked within, right? You've looked within here. Sorry for the glare there, guys. Uh, yeah, and you're just, you're ready to offer something to someone. Wow, big transformation. Yeah, something came to an end for you that just wasn't working, okay? It just wasn't working. Uh, and I think this is a good tower because you persevered and you weren't going to give up. You're still not giving up here, right? You're continuing to decide if you want to continue to, to continue to work on this. But something came to an end, but it allows for this new beginning and a wheel of fortune coming through. So whatever didn't work out has an opportunity to come back around again and work out. So I'm just saying, let's uh, let's see what's going on here with another deck here. I want to see what's going on with you here. Efficiency, getting out of what you put into something, you know. So uh, this is saying is that uh, you know making sure that you're you're getting you know the gold that will continue to keep you going, um, whatever that gold represents to you, whatever value it is for you. And this is saying investing into something and doing it efficiently, um, whether that is in work, in love, or whatever, being efficient with your actions, okay? Uh, that is key. Anything else that wants to come through for you here? What is it? You're ready but waiting, okay? It's kind of like you're, are you waiting to hear from someone? Uh, are you waiting, maybe that you felt like you offered a couple of love to someone and they didn't come back to you and you felt like that it was ended things? Wasn't the case. Uh, well, this is the gut thing I'm feeling. We're going to go to the other side in a minute, but uh, let's take a look. And this is saying is that you're ready. You want love and you're waiting. Okay. You're, maybe you're waiting to hear from someone. It has to do with love. You're ready, but waiting. But this gap is allowing growth and for the universe to dive in and to co-create with you. Okay. That's how I feel. Okay. Uh, that's what's kind of coming through. And anything uh, else at the journey cards, we'll have some fun with these. Uh, what else? Discovering truth. Yeah, you're standing in the light of truth. I think that you, you you know, by going within a little bit, you remember I talked about you kind of got a new perspective uh, and, you know, from this ending here and uh, hence, uh, you know, from this death in the tower and it puts you into a, a new change, a new cycle has come into play and there's truth in this, right? There's some truth or you're discovering the truth and what it is that you want in a relationship or situation and uh, there's a breakthrough at hand. So an opportunity is at hand. Again, the, you know, the wheel of fortune is changing in your direction. Okay. And again, for some of you that things haven't been working out, things are changing. But for things that have been working out, that might be changing too. Okay. But you're breaking new trail. This is about, uh, you know, embracing enthusiasm and, and, and shouting to the heavens that, you know, you've been transformed in some way by this situation or by this relationship or whatever has come into play here. Okay. That's what I see. Um, let's take a look at this other person, see what's going on for them. Okay. This other person, whoa, too many cards here. Let's just, uh, try this again. Uh, this other person, what is it that we need to know about this other person on this other side? Okay, here we go. What is it? Wow. Th there's then, it's kind of like, um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like I said, that, that sign. But they felt that this is a five. This is about adversity. There was adversity with this person. This is about, you know, gosh, it's about conflict. There was some sort of defeat, you know, in this. Wow. 
uh, how interesting, some sort of tension um, in this relationship or situation. Note your comments below, guys, okay? But this is saying that, that you know, that it, things are changing in this. I really believe that it's, even though it's adversity, it's, yeah, it's changing because it's coming to an end. So this person um, felt that, they, they, that you just walked away. And so they were kind of confused as to what happened, but it's coming to the end of their thoughts that were kind of, yeah. And, and, um, it looks like there's an opportunity for love here. Wow. Yeah. It looks like love is, uh, there's an opportunity to come together for love. What is this lover's card? A new beginning. There's a new beginning, a passion, new beginning. This is a, a, a Aries Leo Sagittarius type energy, that fire energy. So you got the lover's card on this side. Uh, you know, it's kind of coming together, two people coming together and expressing love and a new beginning, uh, balancing things out from emotions as well. Needed to be communication, balancing out emotions, uh, you know, balancing things out uh, with the passion as well. Uh, and, you know, getting on equal footing, equal ground, right? Solid ground. Something was off balance. Um Interesting. Then I see a Capricorn come in here. So this is uh, this is an independent woman um, that is uh, you know in a, the fruit of her labor is actually enjoying the fruits of our hard work. Um, you know, in nature with the vineyard behind her. Um, so I see that this is an independent woman, and um, this is usually a single woman. So you might be offering an opportunity to another to a Capricorn. Let's see what else. Or maybe that uh, something from the past, from childhood is coming back. Maybe that you had a relationship with a Capricorn previously from childhood. Uh, and there's been growth. Um, and now you're moving forward with passion. Okay, what is this? Um, what is this? Uh, the Capricorn was from childhood. Anything else? Uh, moving forward with passion. Moving forward with passion. Wow. Towards the family life. Okay, so... It could be either with this, the, 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 it doesn't have to be a Capricorn, it just can be any single independent woman. Uh, uh, but this person wants to uh, move forward with passion and have this uh, 10 of uh, pentacles. <laughs> so this is interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, they want a 10 of pentacles. They, they, want a, a, they want a happy family life. That's exactly what they want in their life. Uh, so they might have an opportunity there. Um, wow, how interesting. Let's see what else wants to come through. Yeah, the different perspective, they, they've been changed in terms of the perspective in terms of what they want in love. You might be dealing with an Aquarius uh, who's going through a lot of healing right now and trying to follow their North Star, you know, in terms of things in a relationship or situation. Um, interesting, guys. Interesting. Let's see what else wants to come through for this other person. Whoa. Let's see here. Rejuvenating rain. They are clearing the past. Um they're, 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 yeah, they, they clear the past and they heal the present, okay? That's what's happening to them right now. They're going through some healing. And it's obviously not uncommon to see this right after, you know, the uh, the star card, right? Major Arcana card. They have a brand new perspective, okay? They really, truly do. And they are getting ready for new horizons. They might be traveling. They might be moving. Um, you kind of see here, almost looks like distant shores, right? Beautiful. It's like a beautiful place. Uh, let's see what else. And they expect miracles. They're looking for miracles. And they do believe that they are out there and it's for them too. So there's a miracle that's happening. So they are focusing on manifestation, right? And they're focusing on what it is that they want in their life, you know, in terms of manifesting and, and moving forward. Uh, that that's very much key for them. Yeah, very much. Well, they believe in miracles coming through. Anything else? They're treading thoughtfully. And they're also protected by the angels. Interesting. Whatever changes that are happening on this side, guys, for this other person, they're going through some changes. Yeah, personal revolution. And that is uh, really creating their own revolution in their own world. Okay, it's more of an internal revolution as opposed to external. It starts inside and then reverberates outside for this person. Yeah, starting from the inside of their core and they're not letting the outward influences of what's actually taking place in their life try to rock their world. They're really focused on the core of themselves. Uh, and that's what they're working on. Let's go ahead and take a look on the best way for you to move forward. What is the best way for you to move forward? Okay, what does this look like? This is continuing at work and partnering up with someone. Maybe it's partnering up with this other person, but continuing to work and collaborate after heartbreak, right? 
So, wow. But know that there is a brand new manifestation that's coming. This is a, a brand new manifestation, right? Um, this is a, a, an Ace of Pentacles. This is the potential for a new opportunity, okay? So do, to go through the, the next step, the next gates, right? Prosperity and manifestation is happening for you after heartbreak, okay? And uh, yeah, this could be travel, Wow, they got travel on their side too. But this is also completion. Completion. Um, the completion of a heartbreak in, in, in focusing on manifestation and a brand new opportunity. Okay? That's headed your way. That, you know, uh, compliments of the universe. Here you go. Right? All right. Anything else? Yeah, you're focusing on your vistas moving forward. And, uh, you know, you've got two wands, which is two people, right? Are you going to take one? Or are you going to take the other one with you too? So it's about looking in a whole new world and moving forward, uh, and discovering and making progress. And this is of tradition and belief. So this is about um, going through some difficult changes in terms of what you believe and your values, your traditions, as it could relate to your love life as well. Okay, it could relate. So the best way to move forward is really concentrate on what it is that you want, what you value. Could be your work, uh, but you're going through some 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 big changes in there, and, and continue to have the strength to move forward. Okay, anything else on the best way for you to move forward? Have strength. Know that blessings are going to be showering your life. Okay, this does want you to know that blessings are coming in. Okay, so uh, a lot of opportunity, a lot of opportunity and blessings. And you're, you're starting that brand new cycle and you're seeing the first light of it. Okay, you are seeing the first light of it and anything else that wants to come through. Wow, your healing energy is flowing through you. So it's almost as if that you're all, you're kind of healing yourself in some way. Um, you're very uh, perceptive and I just I, I just I really feel that uh, you, you some of you might be healers so note your comments below and you're healing yourself right uh, anything else that needs to go through best way to move forward repetition yeah you are healing yourself from the repetition in your mind and you're changing the that, that mindset okay that repetitive mindset that kept you in the dark and in the shadows and in illusion right and uh, this is getting rid of that repetitiveness. Uh, and if you need some help in that, check out uh, below, uh, of course, uh, and that would be beyond the read session. All right. So um, and that's to get beyond this. But this is healing energy that's flowing through. I love this. What is it that you want to say to this person? And then what this other person might want to say to you? Let's see what that is. What you want to say to this person first. Start with you. Okay. What is it? Here it is. What is it? You are so upset. I probably don't fully understand my impact on you. Please tell me I want to understand. So, interesting, okay? Oh, okay. So a lot of times we don't have to look back more than maybe a week or a day sometimes in, to find a time when we felt frustrated, right? So what this talks about is that uh, maybe by our partner's you know, doing or something, whatever. But this card offers a lot of self-responsibility, humility, and most importantly, it offers love, okay? So this might put words to something that needs to be said. So for some of you, this might resonate. So, so note your comments below. Let's take a look at what this other person wants to say to you. What is that? What does this other person want to say to you? Okay, here it is. What is it? All I want is for you to listen to me with an open heart. There you go. Wow. Well, it really looks like, um, you know, that you both want to understand each other. So that's exactly what I see. So I don't see any problem here. Okay. Um, and anything that you've been, uh, this person's been trying to, you know, argue for, uh, you know, or just to uh, uh, explain or whatever, this is just saying, um, you know, this is just one wish. Uh, you know, without judgment, you know, I, I, I want to understand all they want you to do is to listen with me, you know, to me with an open heart. This is beautiful, guys, really beautiful. Well, I hope this resonates with you uh, for some of you in some way, shape or form. And I look forward to seeing you in the month of April. And until then, namaste.